Oh, okay, I'll bite. <laughs> I'll do a react to this one. I'll do a react to this one. Um, I've only watched a tiny bit of it. But it's, oh, it's filled with bad jokes. Okay, let's go. Shrunk his penis. <laughs> That's right. And there may actually be some science to this. So I'm just going to go through this article here in the New York Post. There's, if you look this up. May Seriously, though, David, <laughs> why do you keep using the New York Post? The New York Post is horrible. All right, let's go. Any articles about this, but I'm just going to use New York Post here. So their headline, man claims his penis shrank 1.5 inches. COVID. Can I say this word on YouTube? I don't know, but you know what that means. Yes. COVID penis is real, say docs. So let me, uh, let's read through this. So talk about getting the short end of the stick. <laughs> New, York, New York Post, very funny. As if contracting COVID wasn't bad enough, a dismayed man now claims that he's lost a whopping 1.5 inches from the length of his penis as a lingering result of the vile virus. Wow. Quote, my penis has shrunk, lamented the griping guy in a letter to the How to Do It podcast this week. So let me just stop right there. It's a letter to a podcast. So right. <laughs> just to understand how much you can or can't trust this, it's a letter to a podcast. But he says, quote, I'm a heterosexual man in my 30s, he said, anonymously, anonymously again. <laughs> how much can you trust this? But we'll get to the signs. Only referring to himself as coming up short in July of last year. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this entire story is just so that they can throw in all these jokes, right? Um, but I don't know. I guess maybe there is some science to it. I, I'm guessing that probably some of these people were already short and are just like making excuses for themselves. But okay. Here, I contracted COVID and was very sick when I got out of the hospital. I had some erectile dysfunction issues, he added. The purportedly once well-endowed man went <laughs> on to explain that prior to his diagnosis, he, he boasted was. an above-average sized tool. That's not him, but <laughs> dramatization of what he may look like. Uh, but much to his chagrin, his formerly impressive privates have since lost their luster. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Quote, the erectile dysfunction gradually got better with some medical attention, but I seem to be left with a lasting problem, he confessed. Before I got sick, my penis was above average. Not huge, but definitely bigger than normal. Now I've lost about an inch and a half and become decidedly less than average. What is average? He claimed that a medical advisor had attributed his pecker problems to vascular damage caused by COVID and was warned that the impairment was likely permanent. Hey, can somebody jump in my comments and tell me what is what is supposed to be average? Like, what's your average length and girth? There he is at the doctor office again. A dramatization. <laughs> um, it's it's just funny how they insert these like <laughs> stock images throughout this this article. Quote: It shouldn't really matter. The man wrote, but it has had a profound impact on my self confidence and my abilities in bed. I know that you can't give me back my missing length and girth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Length and girth? That's, yeah. We should have separate measurements then. So 1.5 inches and what in terms of girth? We don't know about the girth, but so it's missing length and girth. But I was wondering if you could give me any advice on what to do now. In response to the dude's desperate plea for penis help, Dr. Charles Welliver, a urologist and director of men's health at Albany Medical College, New York, confirmed the rare but real havoc COVID can uh, wreak on a man's unmentionables. Unmentionable. So apparently it's rare but real. Quote, you can connect the dots, the physician told Slate of the virus correlation to dingaling disorders. What? The <laughs> Whoever wrote this, the solid, solid job. Again, wow. another... Amazing stock image here. Um, co <laughs> Whose idea? Who thought of, you know what? I'm going to make a stock image where I have a banana and a tape measure, and I'm going to measure the banana, and <laughs> somebody will buy it and use it, and New York Post it. COVID causes a lot of mass respiratory symptoms. That leads to a lot of deaths, he said. But there's also pretty significant vascular issues that occur with guys. The doctor went on to cite... Studies that have shown cases of men who've suffered from priapism, the persistent erection prompted sans sexual arousal and erectile dysfunction after contracting COVID. 
another stock image here. <laughs> when guys get erectile dysfunction, they get a lack of erections for a while. And when that happens, they actually do get some shrinkage, he added. Uh, added. So, okay, yeah, obviously. And his commentary on miniaturized members was backed by Dr. Ashley Winter, wait, wait, a urologist. Wait, am I understanding that correctly? That if y'all don't um, have erections in a long time, your dick will shrink? And by the way, David, I'm fairly confident that you can swear on YouTube. Andrea does it every day, and so do I. And um, I think I think Andrea monetizes her videos, too. I don't. But if that, you know, might be the blockade or whatever. Um, I'm fairly certain that it's okay to swear on... Uh, Hassan swears. All of his stuff is monetized. Just in Oregon, who insisted COVID... Penis is a real thing. <laughs> Where do we get? Well, well, well. <laughs> it's that time again, but not this year. <laughs> not with us. At QVC, oh, we... Oh, boy. <laughs> Who thought to mask a banana? Did they do this themselves? No, this is also a stock image. Oh man! <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, amazing. I I don't know how you came up with that one, but that's you can find anything on on Getty Images. All right. <laughs> Quote: The main reason that we think this occurs is something that we call uh, endothelial dysfunction. She explained. That's because the cells that line your blood vessels, and they're really important for the function of many different organs. Mmm, okay. That makes more sense now. The healthcare pro went on to note that when COVID infects those vital cells, it can take a toll on a number of organs. Oh, wow. Quote, and because the erection is blood flow events, when those blood vessels are affected, you can get erectile dysfunction, she said. However, despite the prognosis coming up short... Received from his doom and gloom doctor, both urologists agreed that rehabilitative practices like doing penis, penis push-ups push or purchasing a penis vacuum could restore length what? over time. Wait, what? I th <laughs> what are these things? Oh, my gosh. By the way, those of you anti-vaxxers uh, out there, take note. You might lose some inches off your dick. Be real. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> Is it worth... All of your political bullshit <laughs> just to avoid getting stuck in the arm if um, you end up, you know, losing some dickage. Uh, this was just like a gimmick. This actually works. <laughs> Unbelievable. A typical regimen would be starting something like Viagra or Cialis to improve blood flow, advised Winter. Another thing would be to buy a penis vacuum device and do penis exercise with it. Or penis... Okay, I don't know... <laughs> what are penis push-ups? I don't know what penis push-ups are. I don't know what that means. Penis push-ups? She also suggested stretching the penis with the... Uh, this goes deeper than I... I didn't finish the whole article when I read this <laughs> initially, so... <laughs> this goes a lot deeper than I realized. She also su suggested stretching the penis with a traction device named Restore X, which she says has reportedly elongated, shortened wee-wees by one to two centimeters with consistent use. Not interested, Sounds kind of painful. These are easy things that you can do at home to either prevent shortening or actually get back length that you've lost, she assured. So to make a long story short, just hang in there, guys. There's hope. Hang in there. Who wrote this? I just want to give them credit here because this is well written. Asia Grace. Good job. <laughs> Fantastic. So there you go. This is real. Your penis can shrink from COVID-19. This is also, by the way, a reminder why we can't get bogged down on certain very specific topics like myocarditis. So I covered it yesterday, the, the Rogan thing, where Rogan claimed, or Rogan was fact-checked on his claim that myocarditis is more common from the vaccine than from getting COVID-19. The reality is there's a lot of data showing, well, the opposite, first of all, but there there's some data showing what Rogan was saying, but there's more data showing that actually the vaccine increases your chances more of myocarditis. But even, that's why we can't get bogged down in like, that little conversation about myocarditis because everything else with COVID, be it death, be it long COVID, be it penis shrinkage. I mean, there are so many other impacts from having COVID-19 that you can't simply say, oh, is it worth getting the vaccine? Yes. Yes. It's worth getting the vaccine. You have to listen to the body of science, the vast majority of, of, um, of scientists, what they are saying, and they're saying, get the vaccine. So get the vaccine. Now this guy. Yeah. That's the problem with these idiots these knuckleheads um cherry picking their science data 
and trying to highlight certain um, doom and gloom type uh, things because um, it's it's a risk benefit you know you have to weigh risk and benefit and so when you have um, the conspiracy theory knuckleheads out there um, trying to write their own science by by reading these reports and and you know cherry picking their information that's really dangerous because a lot of these people have very large followings some people um, have even lost their Twitter accounts <laughs> over doing this exact sort of cherry picking of data and um, trying to proclaim themselves to be experts without any sort of medical training or background but um, wow that article's pretty funny so yeah um, we really need um, it, I mean isn't there don't we have any sort of governmental body that is responsible for making sure that there that medical misinformation isn't being circulated into the world like isn't there a way to like sue all of these people who are misinforming the public or fine them or do something to prevent them from doing what what it is that they're doing I, I mean Sam Cedar just the other day caught uh, Jimmy Dore doing exactly the same thing that he got in trouble for when um, Sean did his video exposing how Jimmy Dore was like cherry picking pieces out of an article to completely change the messaging around that article and then he goes forward and he says oh I didn't know that this happened I fired the producer oh really you fired the producer but it just happened again and Sam Cedar just covered it again Maybe he was vaccinated and got COVID and has, you know, penis shrinkage. Who knows? But if you have the vaccine, you are more likely to, to, to protect yourself from severe illness. And I would assume as well, severe cases of penis shrinkage, if that's something that you're worried about. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, all right. Just one more reason to go get vaccinated, dudes. Do you really want to lose some inches off your penis and have to go through penis push-ups? to only gain a couple centimeters back. <laughs> okay.